Hey church, welcome back to Monday, week three, I do believe, of our quarantine. Uh, it is another day, it seems like Groundhog Day. You wake up, you do the same thing. I think I ate 16 times yesterday, watched a few TV shows, watched about four different church services. It was just kind of a monotonous day. And now I'm back in, spring break's over for me. I'm teaching from home now, and things are, are kind of progressing along. Um, this is Spark episode four. We're so glad that you joined us again today. Uh, hopefully you've been able to hit share on the Facebook page there so other people can receive the message as well. I would encourage you to share our, our worship services, to share these little devotional moments that we're having together here so that we can reach our community more than just the people that attend our church, uh, but folks that are friends and neighbors that might need an encouraging word as well. Uh, also coming up, we will be having a Maundy Thursday 24-hour prayer vigil. Uh, if you have anything that you would like to have prayed for during that time, please email us here at the church. We'll make sure that it gets on the list, uh, or you can call in. If uh, we're here, we'll get it, and if not, it'll go to our answering service, and we'll get it when we come back in. Uh, make sure that you send those into the church here, and we will make sure that you are prayed for. Uh, I've been praying for you guys on a daily basis, uh, just like I've been praying for my students. Uh, it's a crazy world that we live in right now. Sometimes the, uh, the world shakes around us, and, and the things seem uncertain, uh, but we know that God is steadfast, and he never changes. Uh, that's kind of what I wanted to focus on today. Um, our world may be tossed and, and like we're in the boat with, uh, with the disciples as Jesus was there and he calmed the waves. And that's our scripture verse today. Uh, maybe your waves are being tossed right now. Maybe you've tried to file for unemployment on the state website for the past three weeks and it keeps kicking you off. It keeps kicking you off. And it's just one of those things where you got to be persistent. You got to have faith. Uh, we finally got my son signed up for unemployment yesterday. Uh, he said he had tried about 20 times and the server kept crashing and kept crashing. Fortunately, he doesn't have any bills, but some of you might. And the reality is that, that those bills have to be paid and there might be some stress from finances there. And there may be some stress because you're now locked in your house with all of your children and your spouse and anyone else, maybe pets. I have three dogs at my house. Um, and just the, the sheer solitude of being stuck together in one place for such a long time can cause some stress in your life. Um, when that happens, I would, I would suggest that maybe you find a quiet place if you can in your house. Maybe step out on the porch and just spend some time in prayer. Maybe, maybe pull out your Bible and jump into some scripture and, and see what God has to say about that. So today we're going to jump into Matthew. And in Matthew, um, Matthew 8.23 talks about when Jesus calms the storm. It says, Then he got into the boat, and his disciples followed him. Suddenly a furious storm came up on the lake, so that the waves swept over the boats. But Jesus was sleeping. And the disciples went and woke him, saying, Lord, save us, we're going to drown. He replied, You of little faith, why are you so afraid? Then he got up, and he rebuked the winds and the waves, and it was completely calm. The men were amazed and asked, what kind of man is this, that even the wind and the waves obey him? Well, we know what kind of man he was. As the scriptures tell us, he was the son of God. He was God himself. And even the wind and the waves command him. It tells us that if we don't praise him, even the rocks are going to cry out in praise of him. He is the name above all names. He is the one who created the universe and who is the one who brought salvation for us. So if your world is a little crazy right now and you're being rocked back and forth, cry out to the Lord, Lord, save me, as his disciples did. And Jesus can calm those winds and the waves in your heart. He can soothe your soul and bring you a peace that passes all understanding. So today, be encouraged. Know that we here at the church are praying for you. Um, know that we are all in the same boat, as the saying goes, uh, that we're not sure what tomorrow brings. The government may extend this lockdown. The government may end this lockdown. We don't know. But we do know that our hope comes from the one who brings the hope, the hope bringer, Jesus himself. So the song I chose for today is a song written very similar to that scripture passage, probably inspired by that scripture passage. And it's called Captain. And it talks about uh, being on the boat in the in the water and Jesus is our captain as we sail through troubled times. Through waters and 
charted my soul will embark. I'll follow your voice straight into the dark. And if from the course you intend I depart, speak to the sails of my wandering heart. Like the wind. day.